It's difficult to have generic thoughts about the COVID experience because a lot has been said, a lot has been written. You never know what's true or not. In fact, that is maybe the biggest problem we've had, the misinformation pandemic. However, if I had to think of the good, the bad and the ugly for our experience with COVID in Malta, I would say the good is that it brought out some solidarity, more solidarity between uh, people. Usually in Malta, solidarity and especially volunteering when it comes to environment issues. Foreigners living in Malta give us a, set us a very good example. But in this case, the Maltese were helping out with volunteering, giving out food to the people who are vulnerable, stuck at home. The good is that the Maltese realized how better Malta is with less traffic, less pollution, uh, less noise pollution, because in Malta noise pollution is quite high. And maybe there was a new way of discourse related to values and what matters. That is the good. Well, of course, there's the bad. The bad uh, part that would first come to mind would be that I think we clapped our hands too early. Malta was considered to be a success experience because we kept the numbers low. However, um, as soon as the numbers were really low, there was pressure to boost the economy again. Uh, so, you know, mass parties um, have brought our numbers in 15 days from uh, zero for a number of days up to uh, we are more than more than 100 and well above which for Malta is a big number so clapping our hands too early um, then of course there is some political game um, we've seen it even through the covid experience where we had the players in the economy pushing for no lockdown we actually never had a full lockdown whereas the ministry of health and the players like the medical doctors etc were pushing for a lockdown now, uh, till now it worked that there was a good balance, but now that they opened up for mass parties, this controversy has become very, very important discussion to have seriously without any political games, really. The ugly is only one thing, I think, that we could have learned quite, a, quite more from this experience. Having seen that Malta is better with less traffic, with less noise, etc., we could have taken the opportunity maybe to revisit our tourism experience we see whether it is uh, we invest more in the well-being uh, more in living quality of life and quality of space um, whereas instead we are pretty much pushing hard to going back to our old normal which is which would be a pity if we do that